brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Majority of the cases of clergy sex abuse filed in the District Court of Guam have been put on hold. On Friday, Judge Joaquin Menabusin granted a motion to stay for over 70 civil cases. His decision followed news that parties have secured a mediator, Oregon-based retired federal judge Michael Hogan. Archdiocese of Agania Legal Counsel John Terlahi and plaintiff's attorney David Lujan expressed great confidence in their chosen mediator. He's very well known and very well respected. He has done hundreds of cases uh, involving child abuse uh, and um, dioceses around America. And so um, because of that, we reached out to him, both parties reached out to him to see if he was willing to do the uh, mediation process. He's a great mediator, so he should be able to resolve. Hogan will be on island from October 30 to November 3rd to address the claims, including those filed in the Superior Court of Guam. Well, we're going to intend to address it as much as possible. If more days are needed, more days will be used. According to his website, Hogan retired as a judge to become a full-time mediator. He's mediated thousands of disputes, including sexual abuse cases. Though Hope and Healing Guam was established to address sex abuse cases, in court today it was noted they'd provide mainly pastoral care to victims. As reported, all victims who call their hotline may avail of free counseling services at the expense of the church. While majority of the parties are on board with mediation, Archbishop Anthony Aperon's attorney Jackie Terlin Lahi reiterated that her client will not participate in settlement talks until his canonical trial in Rome is complete. Terlahi also opposed the motion to stay via teleconference today. Because Aperon is only named in four of the lawsuits, his cases will be dealt with separately. A hearing on Aperon's cases is set for August 7. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.